Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through the Bitcoin chart here, no surprise there. I'm going to be going through the range, also no surprise there, and I'm going to be covering how I've been trading this and still continue to view this chart. So hope that you enjoy this one i should get a bit of educational content from this as uh, well as yeah understanding you know what we're really looking for because you know you you it's it's a funny situation it really is a funny situation where, where you're going to get many many people like complaining about this sideways range you know you're going to see oh this range is so choppy you know i cannot trade this oh come on i'm so bored of bitcoin going sideways i want to see a breakout and then you're going to see my perspective which is just like oh my god i am in love with this range just continue to range in this in this two thousand dollar region for for the next 10 years let's become a stable coin bitcoin i absolutely love it like trading is really not so, so difficult when you know obviously we can make things really 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 complex in trading you know there's so much and you know there's so much depth to it obviously um, but in this video, I'm going to try and keep it really, really simple. And how actually keeping it simple has become an absolute gold mine. You know, we have made so much money off of this range. You know, it's incredible. Um, so I want to cover that. And, um, you know, how obviously, you know, yesterday, I'm going to start with yesterday. So watch yesterday's videos. Um, and, you know, that I, you know, the first thing that I was talking about was obviously how the whole world was literally bearish yesterday. OK, so, you know, I was waking up and, you know, seeing all these notifications come on from my stockbroker, you know, saying, oh, COVID-19 is, you know, resurrecting or whatever it was, you know, like just an unreal amount of fear in the market yesterday morning. Honestly, it might not feel the same now because, you know, in in trading things, you know, change with a with a in a heartbeat sort of thing. You know, it, you know, the market changes so, so quickly. And I, I love it. You know, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a day trader. So I love these kind of quick moves. But we went from peak peak depression peak fear peak um you know fud stands for fear uncertainty and doubt so we went from you know absolutely everybody in the world ultimately very fearful yesterday morning to waking up to seeing you know well not really waking up i suppose but you know throughout the day seeing a short squeeze take underway and you know wreck all the people that turned bearish at the start of the day and you know just squeezing those shorts you know to bring us up here in price and now suddenly you went from everybody really depressed or, or really you know fearful to you know the sentiment is back again pretty neutral so it's crazy how quick it changes but you know i absolutely love it so um you know simple 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 stuff okay so firstly we, we've been in this range now for coming on 50 days 50 days you all know, uh, you know, we all know how we've been trading this in, in the past and how it continues to trade. Obviously, overall, we're going from highs to the lows, to the highs, to the lows, to the highs, to the lows, to the highs, to the lows. And then, you know, we're obviously looking back up to the highs here. We're, we're simply trading, longing. <laughs> so I put a quote on the other day saying, you know, I'm a simple man. I'm a si very, very simple man when it comes to this. Give me the low of the range and I'm going to buy. Give me the high of the range and I'm going to sell we break out that range i'm going to take a loss on that trade but so far it's given one two three four five six seven eight nine winning trades obviously at some point we're going to take a loss because it's going to fully break out of this range and if you've not been a, if you're not a, if you're a newer person watching this stream you might think oh this was a break here daniel so how did you win how did you take a short up of here when it actually broke your range well um, again, this is where it gets a little bit more complex, but you know, you can see weak breaks of a range and if the, the break is weak and it's like an exhaust, an exhaustion break, then naturally you're going to look to fade that because if, a, if, a, if, if, if you kind of, you know, try and auction above a price and there's a real lack of buyers, well, then that is actually a really bearish sign just as if you broke to the low of the range and there was a lack of sellers, you know. So, um, you know, this is how we managed to to catch the short when it, you know, hit, hit obviously the highs up there around 10,400. So, so far, this range has just been, I want to say perfect. I honestly want to say it's, it's been perfect. Um, and, and I also want to acknowledge that this is not going to have been the easiest range to trade for many people, okay, because it's been very, it's been an emotional roller coaster, let's say. Um, just think back, you know, just literally, what was this, the 11th, you know, five days ago, so not even a week ago, not even a week ago, when we were obviously rejecting off of that, you know, the, the weekly again to, to almost the dollar, almost the dollar you reject to that weekly. And it's kind of this situation, you see these really quick rises in price and people become really, really bullish at resistance. Okay, they, they, it's, 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 
is essentially the, the transfer of wealth from the emotional traders. And they're basically just giving the professional traders their money. It's, it's just a transfer of wealth from the silly to the, I want to say, like professional traders that really have a plan and, and stick to the plan and know what they're doing here. And uh, obviously, this is a fully we a fully legal way of essentially taking their money. It's, it's it is kind of brilliant, and I do think that in trading you do have to have this competitive edge about you um, to to you know to to do this. It's, it's it is lovely. I I absolutely love it. Um, um, you know, I've said it before. You know, you get these I would say stupid, really really stupid traders that buy try and buy the breakouts again yesterday. Really really stupid traders that try and sell the breakdowns. And I will give you some statistics on this. Um, you know, just to really emphasize this, this was the breakdown yesterday. Okay, have a guess. Have a guess how many million you think tried to short the swing failure pattern. Obviously, this was our swing failure pattern. Have a guess. You know, just just think here, and I'll, I'm going to show you now. And it's, you're going to be very, very just like, what are these people thinking? You know, here's here's where the breakdown: nine million sold, six million, four million, six million, four million, one million, one million, seven million, four million, seven million, six million, six million, five million, six million, six million, seven million, three million, three million, six million. Basically, eight point five million at the very, very low. Followed by so you basically have ten million in in the literally the low of the wick. OK, look at the open interest statistics. You can see people are shorting at millions expecting a breakdown. So what happens? OK, so what happens? You essentially run those lows. You get a lot of trap traders. You come back up into our channel. This is the channel that we have been trading for 50 days, 50 days. OK, and obviously it had once more wick through swing failure and actually claimed it as support. So we claimed that as support while the majority of the world are bearish. So essentially, this is what I was telling them to my champions group yesterday. So obviously, I, I done a live stream in the morning yesterday before any of this action. My live stream was around 9 a.m. And I was telling my team, you know, I'm in a long position and I'm expecting higher prices here. Um, everybody's so bearish. So, you know, if you want these sort of live updates of how I'm actually trading, I've done another live stream this morning, uh, also giving updates on how I'm trading this right now. But, you know, that's if you want the, the, the real-time updates. But you can see here from a print screen that I've taken from the group, you know, this is what I was writing while we were just, you know, hanging around the top of our channel, you know, literally the whole world is bearish during this drop. So I would be surprised if we jump, if, you know, if we don't go down in price, I would expect a stop run at the very least, at the very least, obviously a stop run of the late shorters. And, um, this was also a funny one that we literally went sideways for the eight hours uh, until the US market opened. And that's when the move happened. I just think it was beautiful technical analysis. It really was. And, you know, getting into my brain here of, you know, I'm literally saying the whole world's bearish and I'm expecting prices to go up. And naturally, that's going to confuse some people. You might think, well, Daniel, if the whole world is bearish and everybody's looking to short this, then how are you expecting prices to go up? Isn't that really counterintuitive? Like, and this is where I present the argument of, it's not all about technical analysis. Think back. Think back to when we had this rise up here. My exact words, while we were going in this sideways range here, my exact words were everything's pointing bearish, but I'm expecting a rise before the drop in price. Those were my literally, literal exact words. Um, you know, I'm looking for like right around, while we were down at around 9,500, I was saying I'm waiting for 10,050 and I'm waiting for the stop run before a decline because everybody's bearish here. So if everybody's bearish, we, we stop them and then we decrease. Down here, this is the kind of an opposite, I suppose, but nevertheless, everybody is ultra bearish down here. So let's squeeze them. Let's run some stops, you know, a stop run at the very least. And guess what? I have a guess where, you know, we turned around, we run the stops of the high and that's essentially where we turn around here. We run the stops and you get a little retrace. So I mean, it's it's like one of these things where it's not all about technical analysis. You do have to, and this is where I can't stress it enough, like experience and intuition in this market is is so much better than just, you know, go 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 off and like study for, for a year and just read every single textbook that you can find. And I can I can almost guarantee that you you study every textbook in the market and you come across to then actually trading, you're gonna probably lose money because the way this market moves is not given in textbooks. Let's just put it like that. Um, you know, it's really counterintuitive, but it is it is truly like you have to have the experience of seeing these moves time and time and time and time again. Thank you for the virus and threat protection there, Windows Defender during the stream. Uh, but, you know, it's just time and time and time again. We see this 
just repeated it is just literally repeated and then when you get the emotions coming into the trades like very very emotional days yesterday that's where you can see these very quick moves okay this is a very very quick move to the upside and if you're on the wrong side of it then you're gonna you're gonna be very depressed very upset or you can be the right on the right side of this trade as me and you know the members and obviously some other you know other people that are getting involved you know you you feel on top of the world you feel like a god you feel just ultra it just feels brilliant so um you know these are the these are the plus sides of trading i honestly just love it when these moves play out obviously as well you have the cme gap so um you know referring to as when we got that drop you know look at the cme gap there we were down at 9300 we obviously we're looking for around 9500 to fill that cme gap that was obviously another bit of confluence why we'd head up and um you know we naturally filled that gap uh, last night around uh, eight o'clock and from there you got a little bit of a pullback so um you know the, the technicals all i want to say is the technicals are are absolutely there the technical analysis here is is wonderful okay so everything that's happening on this chart is purely technicals people are going to complain about the choppy ranges they're bored because bitcoin's going sideways I'm going to continue to trade this range and absolutely crush it. I'm telling you that. Secondly, you're going to see people screaming, oh, Bitcoin's so manipulated. I've said it before, you know, oh, Bitcoin's manipulated. Look at the really big wicks on BitMEX. You know, I'm trading those wicks on BitMEX. I absolutely love it. Um, so, you know, basically the, the final words really that I'm going to give here is we're trading the range for what it is. We're not getting emotional at the lows. We're not getting emotional at the highs. We're not expect we're not necessarily trading break for breakouts. We're actually trading the range until it breaks. So, to give you the key levels once more that we have got inside of this range it it's it's fairly fairly simple actually we've got a big resistance 9800 which is the low of our bottom of the range obviously we've seen it it's not perfect we get moves inside of this okay before the rejections but we're looking at this region from 98 to 10000 as a resistance you start to claim this and maybe we can look for higher levels and in terms of support see our key monthly 9339 here locally here and then to the downside obviously the high of the channel coming in at 9065 down to the low of that channel 8550 so this is a swing traders perspective here i'm not going to go over a day traders perspective in this video but um you know though that's your key resistances that's your key supports and it's not very often well actually in this range where we've we rotated from the lows to the highs okay and it stopped halfway before the decline so let's just bear that in mind it has not stopped halfway in any of this it has made full rotations from the lows to the highs so obviously if you if you do not get a full rotation and you get a partial rise then naturally that's going to add to a bearish bias but until proven otherwise okay the market structure is intact we've got monthly support here one could envision another push up all i would say is um you kind of going to want to know what you're looking for here that you know you can you can know if you do technical analysis why you bounced off in 9600 I'll, I'll tell you it was a naked point of control okay so this is extremely extremely technical okay so the high of this wick literally nine thousand five hundred and ninety eight dollars okay the naked point of control was nine thousand six hundred it's just precision it's it's it, you you literally um you couldn't make it up how, how perfect it really is so um and I think I'm going to wrap up the video there. I, I kind of just wanted to bring your attention to this and just, just I guess partly I just wanted to be like, yeah, look at that. I traded this like a beast. Uh, you know, and, and people and people really don't like it when I say it. But nevertheless, like, don't really mind so much. But, you know, I really did trade that like a beast. But, you know, the, 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 how that's helpful for you is, you know, understand how I traded this, okay? Understand why I'm trading against quote unquote the majority of the world you know when literally everybody's so bearish why we're looking for longs when when is it time to stick with the majority when's it time to trade against the majority um i i give have to give the example obviously of the stock market okay and i'll load up the the chat here a second you know the, the stock market is a perfect example okay it really 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 is um where honestly you know honestly i truly felt that you know i was one of the only people left on the on the bullish on the stock market you know this for me this three thousand nine two fifty points was just ultra crucial and um people were turning bearish way too quick on the stock market and you see this perfection in terms of fibonacci for the squeeze it's just it's just beautiful and my, my final words to wrap this video up are love technical analysis trade the charts and you can honestly just make so unreal unreal amount of money but i guess you shouldn't really as a newer trader you shouldn't be focusing on the money so much you should be focusing on making good trades and then the money comes naturally whereas if you do focus too much on the pnl 
um, you're probably going to get too emotional because you're so focused on the money you're probably not even going to make the money. So you do want to focus just on the technicals, actually making good trades. And, you know, it's, it all comes together. And it's, um, you know, I've, 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 yeah, given so many lovely trades on this. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of the video then, I think. Um, so, yeah, the range is still in play. We've bounced off the lower the range. One would one would say if we're, we're going to rotate between the ranges here, we still got another push-up. Obviously, though, you are founding resistance. Naked point of control, 9,600. So you are at resistance right now. Um, so those are the key levels for me. Okay, so naturally the higher the channel, the lower the channel. And now this naked point of control nine six hundred. Okay, obviously you claim that you could be looking up to your to your uh, nine six seven seven weekly level. Okay, so. Um, yeah, that's the analysis for today. If you're interested in sort of the real time updates, um, how I'm taking trades when I'm, you know, taking profits, um, you know, tra trading it essentially, uh, then you can come across to Chart Champions, get that information. But I want to stress that I'm not a signals group, so I'm not going to say entering 9,100, stop loss 9,000, uh, target 9,500. You know, I'm not giving that type of signals, but you do get insights into my brain of, essentially well you you do know whether i'm long whether i'm short so you get insights into that type of thing it's just i get a lot of people asking you know uh daniel can you do a signals group or anything like that you know i don't want to do a signals group per se i don't want to say entry stop loss take profit i'm not here to essentially give you that free information like i'm i'm more interested in actually building you up to be a really good trader and inside of the group now like i'm proud i'm, I'm personally proud as as, as, a, as a as a person because i I'm actually seeing people fully understand this, actually go into full-time trading, you know. They've ter they're turning their dreams into realities, and that's powerful for me. So, I, you know, I can't, you know, I can't, you know, uh, emphasize enough that I'm in this for, you know, helping and seeing people improve and literally change their lives. It's very empowering. It's very, very empowering. So, um, you know, that's the focus, obviously, of Chart Champions, to really make you into a champion trader, not to hand things on a plate. So, you know, I just want to emphasize that before I end here that, you know, I, I do get obviously give updates. I done a live stream this morning, exactly how I'm trading this. So you do get those types of kind of updates. But please, please don't join us thinking it's a signal group because you're probably going to be disappointed. But, you know, if you understand what I'm doing here, um, you know, you will understand how I'm trading because I, I do kind of make it obvious. But nevertheless, um, you know, it is an educational group and I'm here to teach you how to fish rather than hand you the fish on a plate so um you know that that's the analysis for today I, I truly hope that you've enjoyed this video i truly hope it's given you some insights okay it's giving you some insights of what we're looking for here how we're understanding emotions and, and the psychology in the market and how we're using that to our advantage and it's a combination of emotions obviously that all comes under psychology and technical analysis together if you only focus on the technicals there's a high likely that there's a high a high chance you're going to lose money just back here where the, the technicals were all bearish. You got to squeeze before the drop. Okay, down here, you know, a lot of the technicals are still bearish, but nevertheless, you get to squeeze. So, you do have to have that experience and intuition, um, which is only going to come with time. But nevertheless, you can start to get involved and you know understand this, and it's it's brilliant. So, um, you know, hope that you've enjoyed this video. I truly hope that you've found it helpful. Um, if you have enjoyed it, then I would thoroughly appreciate a like. Uh, that would that would be very nice of you if you would like to give a like on this video. Uh, if you haven't enjoyed the video, give it a dislike. Uh, you know, it's a free world. You can do what you like. Um, so, yeah, give it a like or a dislike. And, um, you know, as always, I'd say this, you know, if you have any feedback of what you might like to see, what I could improve on, then, you know, give me a comment down below. I'm always up for constructive criticism. Um, you know, that's truly what I'd say there. So hope that you've enjoyed this video. I've given you some insights and um, yeah, giving you some key levels here locally, why we got this squeeze and, um, you know, so you can start to understand why this market moves like it does. So yeah, looking forward to the US market open in a few hours time. That's going to be brilliant. We should hopefully get a bit of volatility, volatility picking up and um, yeah. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a good day and goodbye. <laughs>